Hi, I'm Stuart from SFE Leadworks. Welcome to the next video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing some vertical welding and I'm going to share with you a tip that I've picked up to make things easier. So let's get into this. Okay, so first things first, let's mock up a couple of bits to be welded. Just got a bit of 240 I'm just going to use for this. I'm not going to spend any time in this video talking about the gauge setup. I have got another vertical welding video on my channel with all of that information in, so I won't bother saying it in this one. But I wanted to do another another video. That proper cack-handed left-handed cut there. Because some people in the, in the comments have said it wasn't zoomed in enough. So they would like a nice close up so I'm going to do my best in this video to get it as close as possible so hopefully it will be clearer to see. So just make these bits up first quickly. So that's those two, so cut some sticks off, just take them straight off the roll. do four just to make sure we've got enough. I usually like mine quite thin, these are probably about three to four mil. Let's get that out of the way. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to shave hook those. This makes it a lot easier if, if the lead's clean. Okay, so now that's done, let's position this ready for welding. Okay, so that's now ready. Okay, so I've just positioned that piece of lead and it's nicely zoomed in with the camera. So let's get this welded up now. First thing I'm going to do is just get some little tacks on there just to hold it all into position. So let's fire up this gun. Flame might be a little bit too low. Let's heat it up a little bit. Just going to get a little tack down in that corner as well. Okay, so that's that. So now, starting from the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld down with a stick. I always find this so much easier than just come trying to come straight up from the bottom. Right, let's get another stick, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's that done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start coming back up from the bottom, adding the strength. So what I'm going to do is just lower this flame a little bit more. Just makes it a bit easier, gives us a bit more time to work with it. So now we can start coming back up. See, I've got a very, very low flame. Gives me loads of time to work with this lead. Okay, so that's that. So that was the best way that I found to wear vertically. I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SOB Leadworks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.